Hey. Hey, three people. Uh, just like last time, we'll wait a good like five minutes into the hour just for people to arrive. But uh, yeah, please like introduce yourself in the chat where you're from. Um, if you bought a kit from the Odin to be part of this class, or if you're just finding the stream randomly, um, love to know. And it's also a good time to do a sound check. If um, you're having any trouble hearing me, let me know. Yeah, this is class two. So we're gonna be a little bit less bio biological and more um, technical with our stuff today. We're gonna talk about cultivation mostly. Um, and then do some demos that are probably not going to be ready for most of you to do, but we will uh, go over it. Um, the point is to have access to this when you are ready um, assuming that most of you did your grain inoculations last week. If any of your strains are ready by this week, it's probably the oyster mushroom, but we're going to take a look at them and um, I'll show you what a ready one looks like. Yeah, where, where's everybody tuning in from today? We're in Austin. It's getting really hot here. It's nice. No one's, everyone's too shy. Tell us where you're from. Christopher, you're also in Austin, great. Toronto, okay. Hi, Don. Good morning. I love New Mexico. I've got a better camera this time, too, so uh, hopefully the demo won't be so blurry. Hello, Cindy from Alabama. Santa Cruz, awesome. I know we have one student in South Korea, um, Mike. So, you know, extra props to, to them for staying up a little bit late to participate. The camera makes me look a bit red. Yeah, probably. I'm also using this light that has some redness to it, but. Whatever, what can I say? All right, we'll give it a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna show you the agar plates that I made last time um, to kind of show you what they should look like at this point, um, both as a blank plate and for stuff that you did uh, from culturing. All right, 17 people, good enough. So uh, before we jump into the lecture side, I'm gonna show you the plates that we that I did last time. So this is the clone, the king oyster. Remember that big meaty mushroom? Um, after one week, this is about how grown it is. And that's normal. Um, even a little bit bigger would have been totally reasonable, but it obviously depends on the size of your tissue culture as well. So if any of you guys did that uh, the day of or the day after, you should definitely see some tissue. 
um, this little like bubbly area right here, that's just the agar. Um, it's kind of difficult to work with the malt extract agar uh, with a microwave. If you were to autoclave, you'd get a lot more cleanliness. Um, how can I tell that that's not contaminated? Uh, it just, it hasn't grown since. So the day that it settled, it had that little colony of bubbles and it um, hasn't adjusted. And you also totally get an idea for bacteria and fungal contamination, but you shouldn't see bacterial contamination because there's antibiotics in the media. Um, is there a specific agar you'd recommend for fungal isolation if we were to swab soil or lake water? Yeah, you could use antibiotic agar that would at least select for the fungi. Hi, Daria. That's LOL. Um, we got a lot of toilet humor.